Now with summer break ending and a lot of students headed back to school, it can be hard for them to keep up with a part time job. That's exactly right. Our morning reporter TJ Anthony joins us live in studio with info on how one Warner Robins High School student is finding a way to make some money this year. Making money moves, TJ. Good morning to you, bud. Exactly. Making money moves right here in Central Georgia. Good morning, Wanya and Caitlin. 16 year old Alana Bennett is cashing in her dough all the way to the bank with her own vending machine. If that wasn't enough to get your mind turning, the vending machine is sitting right in the very school she attends. So if she wants to, she can check on how her investment is making her that cash while keeping her head right in the books. Sometimes you forget deodorant, lotion, or maybe you just need a pencil in class. So I thought what better thing is to have a vending machine with all those necessities that you might need. After realizing some students needed a way to get supplies at school, Warner Robins High School student Alana Bennett decided to make that happen. She also saw a way to earn some extra cash. She thought about an idea to create a vending machine so she can run the business inside of the school to have residual income for herself uh, instead of being at a location you know, every day during the week and she just doesn't have the time. So Bennett created a business plan. She also surveyed students around school to see what they found themselves needing the most. Then she just needed the okay from the principal, which she received. And she had a great business plan. And part of us as educators is to believe in our students. And it, I just thought it was a great idea. An idea that also helps out her classmates. As class president my freshman and sophomore year, I speak for my peers and I want to make sure that we're taken care of. This is a great opportunity to see how to work books, how to work quickens, how to restock, do inventory. I think it's going to help her when she transitions into her adult life. Now the Bennett family spent about $6,000 for that machine. So far they said they've made around $110. Wanya and Caitlin, you know, the school year just started, so the future's looking bright for young Alana Bennett. Yeah, absolutely. I mean, what good. a great idea, too, to have that residual income, and she's going to learn so much about being an entrepreneur as she goes through that. Yeah, but just like any business, you know, sometimes it takes you a while to get a return on your investment, yes. but she's definitely going to get that money back tenfold. Now, part of the earnings made from the vending machine will actually go back into the student body there at Warner Robins High School. A great idea, giving back to her classmates too.